Do you think your family will come after us? I'm sure of it. It's what I would do. Hello, and thanks for joining me for part two of Xenoclash on Jettatron. And we're going to carry on running away from whatever was left chasing us at the end of the last uh, section. Okay, so now we've encountered some crabs. Although we've got this cool looking crossbow now. Um, didn't pick it up from anywhere, I'm just given it, which is kind of kind. Um, which fires skulls, again with the skulls. Um, but it's very cool looking. Just typical wherever we are countryside, I guess. I, th I think that's, yeah, a random skull bomb just sat on the fence. Listen. Be rude not to take it. Birds. Oh, these are new. Oh. Although, again, kind of dinosaurish. Uh, horns. I've no idea what to compare them to. Oh, but they also seem to be spitting gunk at us. That's probably unpleasant. Oh dear. Yeah, he kind of asked for that. And again, come on. That's, uh, that kicking is quite effective. I mean, in fact, even she's doing it. Oh, yeah. Stay down. Oh. They like to attack when you're I think I'm going to be using that quite often. The, same. the uh, level structure seems to be quite linear, which is kind of unexpected, but it's an older game, uh, so probably fits with Behind the time. Us. Oh dear, there's more of them. Oh, she seems armed with something. Oh, the gun we had at the beginning. I'm not sure whether that's better than the crossbow. We haven't really been able to compare. Uh, but this is working quite nicely for us, so I shan't complain. <coughs> yeah, the deal with this spear, I presume that's just their projectile attack. I don't know whether it's poisonous. Ah, <coughs> uh, but it does seem to hurt. I'm not losing health over time, so yeah, it's probably uh, just a ranged attack. Hopefully that's the last of them. I hope she wants to eat them. Everybody wants to eat stuff. They just have to follow the trail of dead animals to find us now. Let's get out of here. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Although, like you said, if we boiled them, there wouldn't be a trail. I hope our trail is harder to follow in the woods. By now, Rimat must be up and telling your hundreds of brothers and sisters to come after us. Father mother had many children, but we are not hundreds. Oh, you're not hundreds. We're pretty safe then, huh? <gasps> What's that noise? He is uh, one of the Corwood of the Free. One of those crazy people? Cack, if this place is full of Corwoods, I'd rather go back to Halston. They're not so bad. Look, he has his mind set on headbutting things. And nothing will change his mind about that. But why would he do that? Why not? Watch out! Oh, me on three again. Uh, she took the words right out of my mouth during that scene there. Oh, advanced combat. Press backwards plus secondary attack to perform a supercharged punch. That will hopefully be quite effective. If I can land it. Yeah, what was that smashing thing? Well, maybe it's this guy. I'm not sure how much of a threat uh, somebody who's just been mashing their face against the tree trunk will uh, be. Oh, he's got friends. So perhaps a little more formidable. 
Oh, I could have gone in there for some knee smashing. Missed that. Oh, I missed that again. Gonna see if I can be a bit quicker on that one next time. Yes, there he is with the uppercut again. This guy's wearing what appears to be a beehive. Oh, it's an eyeball with horns. Still odd, whichever way you interpret it. Although, get out of my face. Oh, no. Okay, so she can use in the lock on a bit here. Oh, they're double teaming me. Getting a few punches on the side, I think. Right, there's one. I wonder where he disappeared off to between that. Oh dear. Uh, you're gonna get that back. Oh, yeah! Denied! Although, I feel better about that. Actions with the run key. Run forward and attack to form an elbow thrust. Run backwards to unlock the warm elite fighters. Uh, so you can get out of being uh, targeted just by running away. That's intuitive. Oh, these things are strange looking. This one's like half a chicken. And even makes clucking noises. And the one before looked like a humanoid anteater. Although it doesn't really matter when they're all just lying on the ground. Yes! Finally! That uh, definitely knocked him for six, so I'll finish him off. Oh dear. Was not happy about that. That's quite a whine. The Corwits are not slaves of reality, so they can be insane. You almost seem to admire them. I was a Corwit of the Free. Nah, come on. It is true. This is where I've been most of this last month. So. Was it the Corwitz who made you kill Father Mother? Was that it? No, it's not like that at all. But what did you do here? What's so special about these crackpots? I don't get it. It's not easy to explain. I'll tell you what I can about the Corwitz I met. One of them was Erminia. Erminia peed on herself and starved to death anonymously. And that is what Erminia did. Because Corwitz are not slaves of their needs, of eating or sleeping. There was also Gabel. Gabel ate people. And that's just what he had to do. The Corwitz are not slaves to morality or common sense. So, if I were like Animasta, I would have let Gabel lead me, but I didn't feel I had to be eaten. That's quite a philosophy you guys have got. I'm not entirely sure that uh, anyone is fettered by common sense. Right, yeah. Oh, a couple less bad guys for a change. But then we are in a cage, so. Oh, God, I hope I can get that in there. Jump kick. Oh, I'm not doing so well off the, off the back. Oh, although that's fair. Flanked. Oh, he's got a stick. Let's have that. There it is. Oh, oh, wait. Is it, uh, there's no time. Wait, right, quick, grab it. Oh, dear. Boosh. Oh, I didn't sort him out there. He's still about. Oh, that one is already down. Again. Keep trying those slow attacks. Heavyweight enemies can only be defeated with bashing weapons. Luckily, it appears that's what I've got. Although, what is he doing? He's a bit kind of Cthulhu looking at the top. And humanoid giant pig for the rest of him. 
<laughs> yes. Straight in there. Although not much damage. This is like a giant golf ball. Or a really tiny moon. Oh, is he down? Stunned. Oh, take that. Let's see if we can kick him. Nope, just keep bashing him. Oh, sounds like someone else is coming. Oh, there's the girl from the cutscene. That is an unfortunate way to choose to die. Oh, there's a lot more coming around here. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oddly, he's a giant clunking thing and I did not see it coming. Let's get in there a bit quicker this time. Oh dear. He's just taking the guy out for me. Well, thanks. Oh, missed it. Oh, he was going to go for me then, that was lucky. He's stunned. Yes. That must be headache inducing. Oh, it works quite well against these little guys as well. Yeah, there she is. Still there. Oh, that was lucky. I mean, skill. That was pure skill. Oh, nearly back up. Probably run out of it by now. I wonder if at some point we can get Gap to say I'm Batman because his Christian Bale impression is almost spot on. Somebody keeps whining at me. Oh, this guy's nearly done. Oh, one more, come on. Yes. Oh, quite some reach on it. Oh, he's broke his stick as well. Yeah, that is what you get. I'm still not sure I get it. There's more. Okay, after this scene, I think I'm going to call that part two. Please pop that like button and subscribe. Here, I met Oximeter. Oximeter just walks in a straight line without letting anything change his path. And that's what Oximeter does. There was also Helm. Helm needed to be invisible, so he removed the eyes from anything that could see him. Luckily, he never became invisible to me.